June 26, 2017, Jedi Archivist coming at you live. For real though. Lighting some sage at the spot where I be at. Just wanted to talk a little bit about the black lesbian archives I created last night June 25th 2017 so basically when I was you know cause I do freelance I do um, web design photography videography logo services and all of that jazz so I was looking up people I could service um, my work to specifically I service my work to LGBTQIA plus friendly local businesses entrepreneurs startup companies and all of that jazz right so I started looking up into black lesbians um, businesses you know because I identify as a black lesbian and um, Jedi for the pronoun and um, I could barely find any black businesses on uh, just just looking on the Google search and seeing what was out there it was very limited and I was kind of disappointed not even kind of I'm very disappointed actually um and even the articles some of the articles i was reading was just i couldn't even believe it it's kind of sad like the way the cookie is crumbling so i happened to go on to this lgbt travel site because i like to look at different you know try to see if there's you know people you know Queer, black queers or you know QPOC black lesbians that travel and I stumbled on this video about black um, not black but um, basically like all the lesbian bars and why they're closing on um, Bradley or Broadly or some some website like that and they interviewed um, this woman named Valerie Papaya Man and she was one of the she started co-founded one of the first black lesbian organizations called Sapphire Sapos Sapio Sapos I think it was sisters and now it's gone and I also stumbled on a, a young poet activist creator of, of creator of our sister circle named Nicole Redlove who I still can't find and I'm gonna find you I don't know where you at Nicole but I'm, I'm gonna find you because we need to talk about a couple things and I was reading over some of them articles and I was just like yo where are our archives at like they talked about you know they had a group on there called last call Nola and you know they document the older women you know, from the, I think the 70s and the 80s in NOLA and, and their history. And that's great, you know, I applaud them for doing that. That's, I love it that, that they, you know, took the opportunity, took the time out to do something like that because that's what we need. But I noticed that when it comes to documenting, you know, the women, black women in the lesbian community is scarce out here um there was gosh his name steve is, is it steve I'm, I'm not gonna get his name wrong i'll just put it in the link so you know so y'all can see who i'm talking about but uh over in uh, brooklyn or harlem there's a museum um, and somebody's doing the work for um, black, gay, lesbian, the Beach LA archives there, and it's one of the biggest archives. I can't wait to get to New York to see that. Um, but I wanted to personally 
take some time out to create the archives for black lesbians. Like, yo, like, we're getting older, you know what I mean? Like, and if we don't have stuff to look back on and, and, and fall on and reminisce and learn from, you know, if we don't know our history, or her story, our stories, our journeys, our lives, then uh, what are we going to do in the future? Like, that's, that's, this is the type of stuff that got to be passed down. Like, I don't, I don't care where you from, you know, or what you identify as. Like, you got to archive your shit. So I took it upon myself. I said, not saying that the work is not being done, but I would like for it to be in a central place, like where people can come on the internet if they can't get to a library, if they can't get to, you know, wherever the archives reside, and be able to look up their history. Confirmations from the helicopter, yes indeed. Really don't know how that's really a confirmation, but it came right. to be a place where people can submit documents, flyers, old photos, videos, audios, um, anything that they can get their hands on or people want to get their hands on. The Gmail is Black Archives, Black Lesbian Archives at gmail.com. And um, I look forward to watching it grow. I'm trying to kind of take a step back for right now so I can focus on some things, you know, for RVing, my RV life, livelihood and all of that. But I'm gonna slowly start to build up on it. I, I've I've researched into a, and looked into a couple of people and I have a couple of people I wanna talk to um, about a number of different things. But that shit really piques my interest. I mean, I got QBC on the map too, you know, for the archives. But definitely black lesbian, like that, that hits my core, you know what I mean? Like, like let's talk about what women was going through back in the day, you know, in order to, you know, get through what some of the stuff that they went through, you know what I mean? On top of racism, I mean, which we still do face very well today you know, segregation, and, you know, being a, a black woman, you know, having to face who you truly are and identify as. Not saying that that's a hard struggle for everybody, because some people just, they good, like, it, it, it's shit, it's just, it's just them, but some, for some people, I mean, it, it takes a lot to really, truly accept who you really are and I, I definitely want to um, get the stories and listen to different stories of women you know who identify as black lesbians to, to come forward and you know so we can learn we can educate ourselves of what our history of her story journeys you know, from the good to the bad, I, I, I want to hear it. I want to know it. You know, so that's 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 what the Black Archives is going. The Black Lesbian Archives is going to be um, coming soon. And uh, you know, if that if that's something that you're interested in, shit. If it's something that you're not even interested in, educate yourself with this. It'll definitely be a, a passion, a passion invested project. I mean, just like every project that I do is passion filled. But this one, this one hits, hits close, close to home. So y'all make sure y'all keep it locked. I just wanted to do a quick vlog of some of the research I was getting into yesterday. And uh, I'm gonna keep y'all posted. Jedi Archivist, make sure y'all subscribe and keep it locked with me. And uh, I'll catch y'all on the flip.
website.